Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, it's gonna be a little bit uh, impromptu. I was upstairs and I was thinking that uh, I forgot that I had something for a project that I purchased probably maybe like two, three months ago and I totally forgot that I had it. It's in this package right here. It's a very simple project. As a matter of fact, I was thinking you don't even need a CNC machine to make this. Basically, you can use a piece of wood, uh, anything to make this if you're into fishing and you need something to help you because honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I suck when it comes to filleting fish. I'm not good at it, holding down the fish and all that stuff. So what I'm gonna make is a fish fillet cutting board with this right here. I purchased this little thing on Amazon. This is a little grabber tool. You can see that it's a really high strength springy tool. Let me just take it out of the package and I'll show you. Look how pretty that is, nice and chrome. You can even see the camera in that right there. But you can see it, it's just a high sprung uh, grabber that you don't want to get your fingers caught in because this is going to hurt. But it's a little tool that basically the back of the fishtail uh, goes into there, you clamp it down onto the board, and then it gives you a little bit of an extra grip to fillet your fish. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an actual cutting board that's going to be specific for that and what I'm going to be using to make this. This is an old piece of maple. This is an old hundred year old piece from a barn wood that I just didn't know what to do with and I thought this would be kind of cool to make it. We're going to go ahead and cut out I think the image of a fish and then we're going to attach this up here something like that and good to go. Now what I could do is I could just take this piece of wood if I wanted to slap it right there and call it a day, but I don't think that's gonna be much fun. Let's go over to easel. We're gonna go ahead and import our image, the cutting board shape that I wanna do. We'll go ahead and get it onto the CNC machine and mount this up using the tape down method and uh, we'll go ahead and get it cut out. That's how we're gonna do this. Let's go ahead and do this project and get it done. Here we go. All right guys, let me show you something real quick. So this is actually kind of funny. So my Z probe for when I use this uh, dust shoe, I can't get my Z axis to go high enough or it hits the limit stop. So what I did was I just took this little metal uh, uh, wrench and I screwed it directly into my Z probe and that gave me this really thin Z probe. Now I did do the measurements. This is exactly two millimeters. I changed those millimeters in easel that way this now my z probe represents that uh, represents that i'm two millimeters away from my board so if you guys get to that uh, point where your piece is a little too thick just do something like this it actually works really well <laughs> it's a little trick of the day
All right guys, so every time there's always some kind of little issue which I think I can fix. Unfortunately, the gap between my vacuum and the board was not deep enough. So I had a feeling that it was gonna drag a little bit and I was able to catch it in time. But what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just use a light saw and we're gonna cut out the rest of this because I couldn't get my depth deep enough with my end mill on this. If I didn't have my vacuum, it would have been fine without any problems. I just didn't really think about that when I was actually starting it. So without ruining the actual fish board, it did this little funky wave right here, which I think that's okay, because when I did get that off, you're gonna just think that it's part of the tail fin. But I stopped the CNC right away before it did any damage to the cutting board itself and started like digging into this, because that will happen. I was able to get most of this out. So what we're going to do is now I'm just going to take a little uh, saw and we're going to cut out most of this right here and then we're going to run a router around the edges just to smooth this out and get it done. So all right, let's go ahead and get that part done right now. We'll go ahead and get it set. Here we go.
right guys, that is it. That is the video of the day. I hope you like this. Check this cutting board out. This thing is awesome. Honestly, I, I don't even want to use it because it is super, super nice. Um, I got that nice finish. It's a couple days now since I've actually done this. I don't know if you can notice I got a haircut, uh, but yeah, this thing is really, really awesome. I think what I'm going to do with this board right here is I'm not going to use it. I'm actually going to put it up on my new Etsy page that we're going to start in 2024. We're going to go ahead and get this thing listed. That way, I figure maybe you guys can go to the uh, Etsy shop and um, purchase some stuff. That way you can help support the channel and uh, yeah, go from there. So what I'm going to do in 2024 is let me just tell you right now is I'm going to do a lot more making and posting my items that I make on Etsy. That way you guys can support the channel and you guys can see some stuff on the channel that I made and off the channel. A lot of the items are gonna be a one-off, so you're only gonna get one available, and sometimes I'm gonna make some stuff off camera that you're gonna find in that shop that you guys can purchase to help support us as well. I'm also gonna be doing some laser engraved hats, uh, things like that, a little bit different. That way, that is gonna be kind of the place to go purchase and buy items that I make that you guys can even special request. If you want something like this for yourself, you can even special request it and message me there as well. I'm gonna put a link in the description below to that Etsy account. Now it is brand spanking new, so there's not gonna be a whole lot listed, if anything, right now, but once I get that, probably within the next maybe week or two, we'll go ahead and have this listed amongst other stuff that uh, I have made. I think you're gonna like it. Uh, so that's gonna be the new challenge for 2024 is to make stuff and list it on Etsy. That way you guys can actually purchase something that I have made. Yeah, that's it right there. So we're not gonna use this. We're gonna list this thing on Etsy and see what happens. This is made from literally 100, uh, it's a barn that was almost 100 years old supposedly uh, i get it. i have a supplier that i purchased my barn wood from and you can actually see right there those are the actually original saw marks right there and yeah that is pretty much it right there has all the original knots and nail holes right here again this isn't really so much a cutting board as it is a fillet board uh, you can see right here there is the clamp that you can put your fishtail on. It makes an awesome conversation piece. It has a hole right here that you can hang it on your wall and uh, go from there. Again, it'll be listed in my Etsy account. So get it while you can. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, guys, that is it. That is a video. I hope you like it. Wait uh, till you see what I have coming up. We have so many more items to review. Uh, I do have a laser coming up and I do have another item, I think coming from Fox Alien really soon. We're gonna be doing another Fox Alien uh, machine that I'm super excited to do some review and also just build on and make some stuff that you guys can do. So, all right guys, until that next video, I make sure I'll do one thing, stay awesome. We'll see you on the next one.